What's going on y'all? It's your boy Turning In Wheels. We're going to be looking at a new product in here in January 2024. I believe it was released in 2023, but we're starting the year off fresh. Uh, starting off with some new scan tools to me. It's a Think Car Leading Tech and Diagnostics, Think Diag 2, Automotive Diagnostic Device. And here's something a little bit about it. It's a color black and red with little edges right here and a little grip. So turn your smart device into a professional technician's diagnostic tool. The most powerful dongle with full professional OE level functions such as read, clear codes, data stream, graphing, read ECU information, actuation test, and bi-directional special functions. So it has a lot of vehicle coverage, uh, low cost maintenance software, works with the mobile app, dust prevention, shock proof. Um, let's see couple little things of think card tech so pretty cool it's going to be an upgrade from the think car number one first generation so that'll be a little bit better it does come let's see put that over there it does come with a little pouch so very cool very cool excuse me think car branding with a little deal so you can hang it up if you wanted to i guess if you have like a van you could even hang it in the back or put it somewhere on a bag or anywhere you want. So we'll go and open it up with a nice zipper pouch. Open that piece up. A uh, little paperwork, Think Diag 2, stuff like that. Here's the actual unit, the meat and potatoes. So it looks like down there you have your little VGA connection. I don't know if it's VGA, but that's kind of what it looks like with your two little threads. Down here is empty. A uh, little silica packet gel, which we don't need that, so that's good. Um, let's see. And then here's the little cable down here. So this will plug in. Get that out the way. Your DLC connector. Let's go ahead and plug this one in. So it's a little different than the other model. This just plugs into here. Match that one up, and it perfectly fits, so I mean... As long as you get it lined up, it'll it'll fit right in there pretty snug. Tighten up these little threads. A little bit tighter. Come on. Oh, I think it's not pushed all the way. Let's see. There we go. Now it catches threads. Alright, so I guess I didn't have it all the way, but now I do. So... Those two are good. Think car, power, vehicle, I.O., input, output. So these are going to light up whenever you have it plugged in. I guess it shows it on both sides. So pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and get it plugged in, and we'll check them out. Uh, I, don't, I believe it's going to make some noise. Oh yeah, so it has a red, a green, and a blue. Uh, this is going to be the app you're going to use, Think Diag Plus. Uh, let me go ahead and download. All right, so here's the app right here: Think Car Vehicle Coverage Inquiry, All Systems Diagnostics, Maintenance Functions, OBD Functions, Reports, Think Store, Purchase Different Software and Renew Gadget. Uh, let's see. So we need to go ahead and get this one paired. Okay, so it shows you in the store. You can do the Think Diag Two. Uh, Think Diag 2 device, they kind of spelled it wrong with one year full software. The other one, Think Diag, the first one, I had one like that. Uh, Mucar, Think Scan, Think Scan Max, Mucar, Think Diag Extension. So let's see. It's not of activate the device with your account. So let's do activate. Uh, let me go ahead and type this information. All right, so we've got everything paired. Let's do all systems diagnostics. Since the software has been completely upgraded, you need to re-download the diagnostic software when you use the diagnostic function. Got it? Uh, it kind of shows you how to walk through it. Next, next, next. And then if the VIN scan doesn't work, you just go to your appropriate software. Okay, so let's do VIN scan. It says allow Bluetooth connecting. So it looks like it's pretty fast. I like fast scan tools, and you can hear it beeping down there. It's got a red, green, and blue power vehicle input, output, loading, reading. 
kind of sounds like a slot machine in Vegas. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, it says EV or regular. So we're going to do the regular new software version. So it's going to pull the latest software version V10.02 for General Motors. It says Brazil. I don't know why it says Brazil. Anyways. Loading, reading, it's beeping and making noise over there. This little machine. So it's communicating with the blue. You see the lights are flickering different colors, so. Uh, looks like you can do health report, system scan, system selection, common functions. We're going to do health report. Uh, it doesn't say anything here. I believe it's supposed to say manual transfer case, so we're going to say no. System info, reading for data, please wait. Uh, navigation radio, automatic HVAC. Let's see. I'm taking a look. All right, then it asked me with or without the trailer brake, uh, under the 8,600 pounds, with the vehicle stability, without the leveling. Let's see, so it's going to run the health report. ECM. Transmission control module, TCM, not equipped. Huh. Fuel pump control module, FPCM, not equipped. What? Transfer case control module, Everything's equipped. TCM. Let me check so I believe because they pulled the GM Brazil instead of either Chevrolet or GM Chevrolet Cadillac, Cadillac Buick, that's why. Um, so let's try this again. Let's go through Chevrolet. We'll try it like that. And we'll try the health report. All right, so I had to do a firmware upgrade slash update and that seemed to fix everything. Uh, but so far the Stink Diag 2 is pretty cool. You can do a lot of different stuff. Uh, maintenance software, air fuel sensor, I believe, bleed, ABS, battery module system, the gearbox, the brake, DPF, the diesel particulate filter, EGR, exhaust gas, recirculate, the electronic throttle, immobilizer, injector, oil, steering angle sensor, sunroof, suspension, TPMS, so... This thing's pretty powerful for the price and it comes with a one year of updates. So, so far I'm going to recommend this thing guys and give it a thumbs up. So, hope you can uh, like, comment, subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Take care.